Patriot Conservation uh, with the help of some very special Flipper friends. Now speaking of Flipper friends, it does look like our card stars joined us, so I'd love to introduce them to you all. He is our male Pacific Harbor Seal. This time he actually just turned 28 years old. Can you guys all put your hands together for a scooter? Chris. If you listen closely throughout our show today, you're going to be hearing a lot of clicks coming from it. And the stuff we call our animals that in that exact moment, they did a great job. And their reward is coming soon. To target just simply means to touch. So we teach all of our animals from a very young age to target or touch the tip of their nose, really any body part, their trainer's closest, or a target pole, which is really just a stick with a buoy on the end, like Amy is holding right now. We can use these to shape and guide our animal's behavior, positively reinforcing them every oh single step of the way. And then over time, we can engage these targets away. We can pick up our animals using our hands and our voices. Now, I do just want to point out with Scooter, he actually, in his older age, has developed cataracts, so he is actually almost entirely black. But this really hasn't slowed Scooter down at all. We've really just adapted our training to make it most successful for him. So, like I said, we usually use our voice and hand signals to communicate with our animals, and we can still use that with Scooter. But since he doesn't have the greatest vision anymore, you're going to notice if you look closely, we use a lot more touch and or touch based signals with him as well. That way, you can communicate really well with Scooter. He also has those big whiskers on the side of his face. He's able to sense vibrations with these, so we can use those to help guide him around as well. Scooter is doing fantastic showing up in the training process. We put our hands together for him. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's me. Uh, Wild. Intriguing is a really wonderful learning game for our animals. Play behavior is not only important for our juvenile animals, it also helps our adults get the physical and mental stimulation that they need on a daily basis. So what we're going to do right now is turn down my microphone and turn up some fun music, allow you to watch these two playing together. Remember that Harper does know exactly what the sound of your applause means. Every time you see something you like, make sure you put your hands together. Make a nice clap for Harper. Sea lions like Reese, they do gather in really large groups on beaches called rookeries. 
these referees can be very noisy places. Male sea lions will mobilize to announce and defend their territories, whereas female sea lions will vocalize to find their pups on a crowded beach. Every single sea lion has their own unique vocalization. Reese is definitely known for her loud voice, so I was wondering if she'd like to show it off for us today. <laughs> Like I said, Reese is a California sea lion. Our first two stars that you met were harbor seals. A lot of people do commonly confuse seals and sea lions. While they are very closely related, there are three easy ways to tell them apart. So I would love to highlight for you today with the help of Reese. The first step is she was just showing off with us in her front flippers. A sea lion like Reese, she has very large and powerful front flippers. Fully grown, they're about the length of a human arm. Sea lions use these to propel themselves in the water. It's like Reese is just showing up. They can reach a bird speed of about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Now seals, they have very small front flippers. Theirs are only about the size of a human hand. Seals use these more for steering through the water. While they move their hind flippers in a back and forth motion called sculling, the seals can reach a bird speed of about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Grace is doing fantastic highlight these differences. Can we put our hands together for her? Sea lion like Reese, she has external ear flaps called external pinnae that are very visible on the sides of her head. If you think back to our first two stars, seals do have internal ears, so all you're really going to see on them is a small hole or bump about an inch behind their eyes. Now the third difference between seals and sea lions is definitely one of the easiest ways to tell them apart, and it is how they move right up here on land. So a sea lion like Reese that she was just highlighting for us, she does have an adaptation called a rotating hip bone. So she's able to take those hind flippers, she can tuck them up underneath her belly, and she can walk or eat them down very efficiently on all four of her flippers. Now, seal does move much differently when they move on land. Like Reese is highlighting for us, seals do spend their entire life on land on their stomachs. So anytime a seal wants to move somewhere, they're going to interest you across the land, looking a little bit like an overgrown caterpillar. Now, hopefully, with Reese's help today, you'll never she did an amazing job showing off these differences. Can we make it nice and loud for Reese? Very nicely done, Reese. Excellent job. Now, the also see why they are incredible animals because they're able to live both in the water and on land. They're very flexible and agile animals, and they aren't so successful. There are a few adaptations I'd love to highlight for you today. Now, the first one is simply the shapes of their bodies. She is shaped a little bit like a torpedo, where she's bigger in the middle and smaller on the ends. This is what we call a hydrodynamic body shape. She is able to use this to come through the water easily without wasting a lot of time or energy, like she is demonstrating by getting that frisbee. She did an excellent job with that. Give her hands together for Reese. Very nicely done, Reese. Our second adaptation are those whiskers that they have on the sides of their face. These whiskers have specialized air bandages at the end called vibrissae, but they are able to use to sense vibrations in the water. They can actually voluntarily extend and retract their whiskers, so they were ever in any dark and murky waters and couldn't really see what's going on around them. They can still use these to sense if there's any predators or prey nearby. Our race can actually still hear you back there, and she did amazing out here today. Can we give her a final round of applause? Very nicely done, Reese. I uh, really do just want to thank you all so much for joining us here today. I know the weather is not great, but we appreciate you all coming out to see us and sticking it on the rain. If you guys have any questions as you're exiting, our staff will be down here on the pool, and we'd be more than happy to answer those for you guys. Thank you all so much again for joining us, and please enjoy the rest of your day here at Hershey Park.